what is up you guys welcome back to the channel so if you're stopping by the channel for the first time make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so in today's video i want to go over the flip that i've been working on i know you guys been following the channel and you see me renovate this flip but somebody has broken the house and destroyed it okay the day before closing stay tuned i think you're gonna like what i got for you in today's video All right, you guys, so this flip that I've been working on, uh, we had a uh, contract on the house, we had a buyer. Uh, we were so set to close on this property uh, the next day. So the agent came in to do a final walkthrough and uh, found out that someone came in and broke the house, kicked the back door in. They took all the cabinets out. They took the hood range, the dishwasher, the stove. And let me show you guys how, so, this is how it looks after they came in and took everything out, okay? So we had a uh, stove right here, we had a dishwasher, we had cabinets, and I'm gonna say the best for last because there's more, all right? And let me walk you through the house real quick so you can see all of the other damage that was done as well. So as you can see right here, punch holes in the wall, not sure what they were doing right there, but then right here, they took the vanity out in the uh, hallway bathroom. So this is a three bedroom, two bath house. Then uh, they proceeded to this room to try to remove the ceiling fan, but um, I guess they couldn't get it or whatever. And um, so that's the damage that has been caused in the house. So what it did was it killed the deal. But uh, right here, as you can see, I have uh, my camera, which is a uh, Rio Link camera. You can find these on Amazon. Uh, they pretty much operate off of a SIM card. And I've always have used these cameras. I use them on my Airbnb. But uh, for whatever reason, I don't know, I guess I got comfortable over here. Uh, I guess during the process of being comfortable and knowing that it's just older people uh, in the area, um, you know, I slipped up. I take the blame for it. But, you know, you have to protect your investment. You always want to protect your investment. OK, but there's security cameras, um, burglar alarm system uh, or what have you. You definitely got to protect your investment and also insurance. You can get builders insurance as well. Um, that'll cover uh, most of this cost. But of course, you know how insurance work. And then after they came in and stole everything, right? They came back, okay? They returned, all right? And when they returned, let's take a look at this. When they returned, they stole the AC unit, all right? So uh, when they returned, they stole the AC unit. And voila, here we go. AC unit gone, came in with bolt cutters and they cut the wires, they cut the copper and they, you see, see the wires right here. There it is. And there it was and it's gone. So like I said, a lot of times with, you know, situations like this, you have to try to find the good in it whatever that looks like but um it happens this type of stuff happens um with flip with new construction people know houses are vacant or they're on uh, handyman that's around in the area uh they'll come and take your stuff all right and you know a lot of people are saying well maybe this is an inside job or uh it's someone who works for you but nah that's not the case um i ran the video back from the last time they came and these guys were no one that I knew. I did a lot of the work on this house myself and I normally keep the same guys. I don't deal with a lot of different uh, contractors doing the work on my property, okay? And so these are some of the things you just gotta think about and keep in mind if you wanna get into the real estate game, just always be prepared, be ready to try to bounce back. And like I said, you gotta try to take the good with the bad because bad things will happen and you just got to keep a positive attitude and try to keep going okay
because it can get hard. It can get hard. And when you do all the work like I did myself, I did a lot of this work myself. So I had more emotions tied up in it. And so uh, that's what happened. So what we're going to do is we're going to just put it on the market, try to resell it just like it is. Don't do any other work, but um, just kind of offer some type of incentive for the buyer and see how that goes. OK, but again, y'all, it's just a part of the process. And uh, like I told y'all, uh, it's all about, you know, facing adversity, guys, facing adversity. Once you learn about facing adversity and knowing life going to throw you some curveballs and that's that, you know, there's nothing you can do about people stealing, you know, because unfortunately we just have those type of people in the world. All right. So if you find this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you ring that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.